on uh, uh, on not the previous not the previous flight, but the previous flight to that. Mike had a departure, a tail stall departure. He was doing a stall at a, the furthest aft CG we've flown, and the tail was separated. In other words, stopped producing lift. When it stopped producing lift, the nose rose, and sure. Mike could not get it back down right. without using lateral controls. So. The intention behind all these aerodynamic modifications is to make the tail continue to produce lift and stall at a point after the wing is stalled. You want right. the wing to stall first. If the wing stalls first and the tail is producing lift, the nose pitches down. Right. So, what we did is we uh, built the, uh, the truck, or the land shark as we call it, and uh, tested all these modifications on there. And the modifications are intended to keep this thing producing lift at much higher angles of attack. And uh, one such modification is the strake. Um, as you can see, the strake has a very sharp leading edge. And anything with a sharp leading edge at a high angle attack produces a vortex. Um, you can see that if you take a knife and you put some cream in your coffee and drag it through the coffee, you'll see that little swirl that's a vortex. Okay. So this does the same thing. Now, a vortex does two things. One, when a vortex is swirling around, right, that's a low pressure area, and that will tend to keep this tail lifting. Also, uh, it introduces higher energy air that's away from the tail into the boundary layer, which keeps the boundary layer healthy and keeps it from separating. Okay. So it serves really two functions. And, and um, I guess I have to add a third function. <laughs> it, uh, the vortex, this surface itself also produces lift, which aids in the nose down pitching moment, which uh, helps the pilot recover. The other modification that you see here is a fence. That's what this thing is called. Um, it's a swept wing, which means that if you look at the uh, 25% cord, it sweeps aft. The swept wing, when it stalls, has spanwise flow. Um, so this inhibits some of the spanwise flow. When the spanwise flow hits this, it produces yet another vortex, which keeps this portion of the wing attached. Um, the other modification you see here is this tip extension. This tip extension does a number of things. Um, one, it moves the neutral point further aft. Remember, I was talking about the neutral point? Sure. Uh, by about two inches. So it makes the airplane, when it's flying at a CG of, say, 147 feels as if it was flying at a CG of 145. Okay. Uh, the other thing that you'll notice is this also has a sharp swept leading edge. That again generates another vortex at a high angle attack and keeps the stiff uh, healthy and attached. Um, so the, the other thing that's incorporated here is a uh, span wise extension of the elevon. The surface is used for both pitch and roll control. It's hooked up to the pilot's stick. Um, it ser serves a, a bunch of functions. Uh, when it just increases the surface area, the pilot has given them more pitch control and roll control. Um, the pilots were complaining that they had to use very large stick deflections to handle light uh, turbulence, uh, which is indicative that they don't have enough control power if they're going to encounter heavier turbulence. So this increase in span helps that, especially in roll, because instead of the center of lift acting here, it's now acting here because of the more effective span. That gives you a more bigger arm, bigger, arm, bigger rolling moment. Um, it also gives more area, and the more area will increase stick forces, and we have very light stick forces because there's more uh, force on this control surface and you'll fill out the control stick. down the upstairs?
Okay, Jim, you're up. Wonders. Twelve hundred. And White Knight Flight Forty L. Scott, two one, Scott. Tom. Yeah. Uh, pitch trim set for Broken Arrow. And transport ready. Ponders on, Captain Altitude warning is yeah, we see one and a half low, but I shut the makeup valve so it should creep back up hopefully. Yeah, my checklist shows uh, one for broken narrow on the checklist. That yeah, may be wrong, Pete. They're going to five. Yeah, my night's on a roll. Live engines are up, acceleration sluggish. 90 knots. There's a rotation. Turn climbing, looking good. Gear handle up. Here's ready. the gear coming. Airspeed. And lights out. Oxygen. Okay, going back to normal. And intercom is desired. And uh, we'll have traffic point night switching, Joshua. And we're off at uh, 6.39 or so.
Robert Don Rogers coming out. Roger that.
maybe a couple hundred high at the crossing. Cat 2 1, wind check, calm. Copy one, it's calm. Okay, good on altitude on base and uh, gear to go. Up the gear to go. Hold in the gear. Runway 8, wind comp, clear to land. Clear to land on 8.
Yeah. That's awesome. Excellent. Really nice. Congratulations. Well, one problem. Yeah? I hit the, no the nozzle on landing. But oh, that. that's all right. That's all right. Good. Yeah. I mean, you got plenty of alpha. Really? You, you touched it. Yeah, okay. okay. Landing was great. You didn't touch the tip, so you were perfectly level. Oh, of course. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have that much roll to touch the tip. That's good. That was great. Thanks, oh, everybody. That's what the, the nozzle is not only ablated, it's also abrasive. Load it up. How the hell with all this boat flow stuff? That's right. Let's get a hot water. We're ready. There you go. Uh, now the tail is really stable. But when you said you had wing stall, I mean the tail is totally gone too. So. But it very, looked like a very strong uh, push out. It yeah. felt like a Jeep rank. It, it definitely pitched up, but I could, I could get out of it. It's not a nice feeling when it goes the wrong way. But, but I mean, we're getting, we're getting wing stall and the. Getting wing stall and tail stall here. But it should pitch it. Shouldn't be getting tail stall. Uh, yes, we are. At 140 pounds. Yeah, when you're looking nice at the video, it goes up, you can see the separation, so there's no. Oh, literally, it's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the landing was a whole lot easier. Really hard. Hey, good. Really hard when you get it down. You know, and I used the rudder, too, so just to get to see what it was like. And the rudder is, is built a great drag device, so. And it doesn't take the couple and roll, you know, yaw. Yeah, so you can like roll it all in and out. And, uh, Right. Mike's at eight feet. Oh, I better lower it some more. Yeah, right. You had too much trimming. You had full nose up. Well, that was that was trim for. for I think uh, the bent stick gives you a false feeling of where it should be. Well, that's that's a nice position for the stick. Um, but that thing really is water repellent too. It is. It's it's honestly, it's like a wet. I'm dry. <laughs> Let's give many of these on order right away. Those are handy. <laughs> really astonishing how much drag the gear puts out. Oh, yeah. Went like I was right minutes. on him in the well, extra, and when two. he put the gear out, yeah. it just spat me out like you wouldn't believe. Oh, bad. Yeah. Well, you hit wow. your mark. Yeah. Well, and, and, yeah, of course. So, so that's the... Yeah, of course. You were a lot higher and a lot closer. That was it to... So, next flight, we we got to get a competition going. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You know, waterproof fly seat's just no good. <laughs> <laughs> just sheds right off. Like that. Yeah, water up a duck's back. Yeah. I suspect after a couple of dousings in Washington, it loses its uh, water repellency. How's it in feather? Boy, um, shaky. Shaky, and they're they're really large amplitude, low frequency oscillations. You know, really feels like a structural mode, not just a. Boy, it's really. It'll really get your attention. So multiply Q by four and uh, give that a try. That'll, that'll be interesting. But I think we should look and see what mode is excited because there's a real structural, low frequency structural mode that's that's going in in feather. I wonder if the thing's coming off the stop. You know, there's just air cylinders holding yeah, it on. It, it felt like there was something banging. Right. right. It does. And so it feels like something's going up against the stops, just moving a little bit. It's so. not that frequency. Yeah. 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 Uh, it's, Pretty horrifying, I mean, yeah. that's the, how yeah. large the amplitude yeah. is. Yeah, it rolls good though. It's, it rolls it's way really better. Flies it flies nicely. Yeah. Huh. It's, to be, it's a little now, sensitive at altitude. The, the roll, there's a P 
PIO susceptibility, you know, right off the launch, I, I just I tried to do a high gain, you know, just roll and hold. And, right. But I, I think it's yaw coupling. I really do. It really feels like if, if you, you do quick, out of our show? Yes. If you really? do quick input, you and then come right back out again. Then then if you you end up getting in the loop. Well, then why do we sit on our rolls? I don't know. Well, there's a, a whole lot of, uh, of roll damping due to due to side slip. I mean, it rolled right in and then it nearly came to a stop and then and went right back out again. So there's quite a bit of, uh, or at least enough adverse yaw to overcome the directional stability to give us some side slip. Well, that'll be more pronounced. <laughs> actually. Sure, sure. The, uh, did you do the overshoots? Did you get any... any uh... <laughs> yeah, you know, I didn't go to real high side slip. I mostly just did roll with rudder and just piece it. You know, it's, it's almost as easy to. Yeah. Thanks, John. Thank you. you didn't feel, you didn't feel any issues when you were at the highest side slip at all? No, what I did feel was hey. an increased tendency to have that roll bobble. So I would have a, a, a rudder deflection set and a aileron full against the stop, and then it would sit there and roll at the side slip. This was at the high And it did not feel like a separation. It just felt like the. the um, this was at high altitude? Or Mid altitude. All, yeah. all of the side slips really had that same same general yeah. tendency. But real easy, you know, rudder is, feels nice. I, I don't think it's snatchy, but there is, a you know, that roll coupling which sort of confuses the issue when, when you put the roll in to, to counter the side slip. I don't know if it's the roll or the rudder that's doing that. I, I don't know. I, it's hard to tell. But it um, does oscillate when you get that. Right. Yeah, that's, that's right. Is yeah. it you're sort of motion? Lower altitude, so it probably should be a pronounced. But it's a, it's still there, I'm sure. It's still there, and I it just qualitatively I couldn't tell you whether it was. Better even or worse. even uh, really? even yeah. down low, I could see that little roll motion. Yes. I mean, it went all the way through down to the land. But really, yeah. I did not see one in the no, You can't. But Chuck and I were looking at it, and I said, "Well, there it is. You know, it's just." Very, very small. Oh, it was. That was great, guys. I really don't know. This was awesome. Hey, I called.